Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kevtech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to set up a server and then enable remote desktop services. And I also want to create MFA on top of it. So obviously if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So I was working with a customer uh, a few months ago and um, that customer had um, dual set up for the remote desktop services. They were remote into their server, into their machine because some, some of these MSP companies actually have access to their server, so they remote in, right? But how do we add a layer of security on top of it, like adding Dual or Okta or whatever, adding something on it, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a VM, and then we're going to set up MFA on top of it, and then we're going to test the MFA. That's what we're going to do today, all right? It's going to be very interesting. And you have something you could talk about on your resume. So I'm sharing my screen right now. So we're going to do create a virtual machine, create a virtual machine. And... um. I want to use a server. So I'm going to call it server 2019, right? And then, because I already created an account earlier, I'm going to use the help desk one that I created earlier because I did do this layer earlier. Um, and then in the review create, and then we do create. So now it's creating the, the actual VM. And uh, I want to show you how to enable on MFA on remote desktop protocol because we're, we're obviously, if you have a server and you have no type of, no MFA, no nothing, it's not secure, right? So it would make more sense if we have MFA set up, if that makes sense. So while, while we wait for that, I'm, I'm going to show you real quick. While we wait for that, just give me a second. While we wait for that, we're gonna make a user. So while we wait that for that's creating, right? Because we we create we have a help desk account, right? That it's gonna log into that remote desktop, right? So we're gonna create a user, add a user remote desktop, and then I'm gonna put it as help desk. And then you guys already know my email address, but I'm gonna just not share my share that for a second. You guys already know my email address, and then we do 63, and then I'm gonna save it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do send enrollment. And then basically what that means is, cause I wanna set up help desk, I could log in. So this is the enrollment email. So what you do is you, you have to click on it. So you have to, I'm enrolling help desk. So then when I log in and remote in to that specific server, I, I already have it all set up, ready, ready to go, right? So I'm gonna do start setup, mobile phone. And I'm gonna put my phone number in there, but I'm gonna cover it so you guys can't see it. Uh, so you guys don't call me in the middle of the night, right? I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit that number. I'm gonna confirm that number. I'm gonna confirm what kind of phone it is. And then as you can see here, uh, I have dual already installed. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my dual app from my phone, right? And I have the, I have the scan, I have the thing to scan, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan it real quick and I'm gonna hit save. And then this account should be good to go. And I'm going to hit continue and I'm to finish enrollment. And it says here, enrollment has been successful. So that's it for me for that. So then what I'm going to do is I created the VM already. It says it's ready to go, right? So I'm going to go to the VM. Oops, is that what I want to do? Let me get out of this for a second. Let me go to home. Uh, I'm going to go to virtual machines. I'm going to go to server 2019. Uh, I'm going to hit connect. It looks like I have an IP address and everything. So I'm gonna download the I'm gonna download the remote desktop protocol services. I'm gonna hit connect. And then I'm gonna log in. And I'm gonna remote in and I should be able to remote in successfully. Uh and now now I'm gonna set up the, the second layer, which is what I told you about MFA on this, because I don't want to have issues with with um with security, because this is security, it's a security vulnerability, right? If you have um, if you don't have MFA enabled on your server, and I and I see several companies do this. By the way, it's not it's not like something something like you know out of the ordinary, but this is something that you could set up in your environment if you work for a job or you work at a company, and for some reason it's not secure, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Microsoft Edge. It's gonna be a little slow, so you gotta have a little patience with it. 
since you know since I just it, since it's a brand new VM starting from scratch, right? You have some patience with it, right? So, so what I'm gonna do is, um, dual admin login, right? And then it's gonna ask me for dual security login, and it's gonna ask me for my for my basically my um email address. I'm not gonna share that for security reasons. Uh, so I'm gonna log in real quick. And it should let me in. So you just bear with me. I have to I have to allow the prompt for dual. I'm gonna share my screen again over here. All right, so you see my screen again. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna head applications, right? And then I'm gonna hit um protect an application, and then I'm gonna type RDP, and I'm gonna type protect. Or click protect, sorry. And then you see now it has an integration key, the secret key, and API hostname. So in order to set this up, uh, you click on RDP documentation. And I already read through the whole thing, you know, blah, 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 right? You want to download this, which is dual authentication for Windows login installer package. And it's going to install it for you. It's going to install this dual Windows login prompt thing. Just let that download and hit open file. And then this is so easy. It's like super, it's super simple that you could do it with your eyes closed. It's not super complicated. So you hit next. It says here where it says API host name. Where does this information come from? It's coming from the actual website or the actual admin portal, right? So you copy the API host name and you do control V and you hit next. Integration key is like literally right here, right? You copy that, just throw it in there. Secret key, you copy that, throw it in there. And then here it says you want to bypass notification offline. I keep the check mark, keep this check mark. This I will not keep on because it says does not require MFA approval. I would I, <laughs> I suggest not doing that. It doesn't make any sense, right? And hit next. Maybe you have a smart quarter, you could set that up. Uh valuation protection, you can set that up entirely up to you and then install it. And then now you're all set. So now if you want to test it, just make sure that it actually works. Uh, and it's actually good to go. What we could do is we could close out of this, right? We could download it again. We could remote in again and we hit connect. And then if it's working, remember I created a help desk account. If it's working, it should prompt me for, for dual on my phone. Remember we set up the help desk account. Yeah, so there we go, see? So now I have MFA set up on this specific server. I'm gonna hit approval on my phone and I'm good to go after that. Now I can remote into the server. So that that's pretty much is how you, I'm gonna stop sharing. That's pretty much how you set up MFA using remote desktop protocol. Cause so I know some companies do this. Um, and hopefully this video helps you out. And hopefully it's educational. Um, and yeah, and I have another video that I want to make on, on uh YubiKey. I have a YubiKey in my hand over here. So I, I do I do want to make a video with this at some point. But that, that's how you secure your server if you're if you're remoting into your server. You gotta we not add these layers of security, right? The only way I was able to log in is because literally. Literally, I have dual on my phone. If I didn't have dual on my phone, I wouldn't be able to log into that thing because I set up a user account and everything. So you can make this as a you can make this as something you could talk about when you go for a job interview. Yeah, yeah, I set up MFA with remote desktop services on the on the server. Yada yada yada. So hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully this helps you out. And you know, if you have something that that's you do this on a daily basis, I does, I suggest you set up MFA on your server. All right. With that being said, I hope you have a good day, and I hope you have a great Saturday. All right. Later, guys. Peace. Bye.